Okay, um, this is gonna be a new chromatic scale tutorial, because, uh, new tone isn't exactly the greatest at making the scales. Well, sampling, I should mean, not making the scales. Um, so well, let's just use, uh, this audio that I have here. It's, uh, uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, so yeah. Um, you can listen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Never mind. <laughs> um, what you want to do is you want to get all your samples or whatever. You cut all your samples up. Um, what I like to do is shorten this down. Get all our amazing samples from this amazing audio that we have here. I won't put too many samples, but it doesn't matter. Um, usually what I like to do... Oh, wait, hold on. I have the wrong... Here you go. I try to keep um, one sample uh, per beat, or two samples per beat. So one at the start and one halfway. Uh, you'll see why later. Pretty good sample. Amazing samples. Um, it doesn't really matter on, on how many samples you get, as long as you're satisfied. So, like, honestly, this is, this is a fine amount. I could get more. Um, you can also normalize them, make them all loud. And if you want to de-click them, you can also have this button on the fading and fade it in a little. Yeah, and I also have all of them highlighted, so they'll all fade. Okay, those are amazing samples. So now, let's render this. Um, I don't have it on screen, but I actually I can just show you once I'm. Um. Okay, so I have it set to OGG. Um, I think Wave is probably the best one, even though it's it's quite large for scales. Um, but yeah, I I choose Wave for scales because it's lost this audio format. Files done. So once our audio is done rendering, uh, this is the part where I use Melodyne to actually make the samples all tuned and whatnot. Because these are already tuned, but sometimes you'll want to make a scale out of audio that you need to tune, like someone talking. Um, now we have this open. Let's find our sample. I don't remember what it's saved at. I think it's like my samples. And now we have all of our samples in here. First, what we want to do is click on this button, the correct pitch, and then we just drag both of these up. And then we click on this pitch tool, or let, hold left click, pitch modulation tool. Double click sample while you have all of them highlighted, and then they all center. That sounds pretty uh, tuned. So if, we, if you want to, you can stretch, uh, you can use this tool to cut uh, some samples. Get rid of like, this audio, and you can stretch it a little. Don't stretch it too much, or else it'll sound like really, really bad. I think this sample sucks. Um, don't be afraid to delete any samples you don't like. That don't sound good. Like, like that sounds bad. And if you stretch it a lot, it kind of sounds bad in general. So we'll just get it anyways because I don't care. 
Well, that's... And also, anytime you cut, you ha do have to pitch center it again. Uh, I don't know if that's a setting or anything, but it's annoying. Um, let's say you do want to stretch. So I'll turn the, the WPM down. Honestly, these are already, like, stretched enough. Now, once we have all of our samples in, I'll just... My sample... Yeah, you can rename the, the, the name of the file down here. In the track button. Okay, so once we have all of our amazing samples from our amazing audio that we use, I'm just gonna get rid of this end bit. Like a little bit of stretching does help. Kind of depends on how good your samples are and how long they are. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of these little cutting pieces. You don't have to, do, but. I would do it anyways. Might be myself would do it. Okay. Now that we have all of our samples all, you know. Now we want to export it, and I hate exporting. Hold on. Give me a minute. Oh, there you go. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna put in the file directory and you have to find it, which is annoying for this. Um, here. Actually, I need to go to the packs folder. Give me a minute. Data, patches, packs. Here's my yeah. Here you go. Oh shoot. Uh, give me a minute. I have to rename this. My symbol's two, I guess. Yeah, for some reason, Melodyne, you have to rename your file if you want it to. If you actually want it to render, you can't have it the same name if you're putting it in the same folder. Okay, now that it is all rendered, we'll move back to FL. And uh, here is where you will build your scale. So, what? turn on the BPM so that every beat, so this is one beat, there's two samples in it. Uh, this is because there's a trick I always use. So, I, I'm just lining, you don't necessarily have to line it up, but I feel the need to. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but what does matter is that you have two beats, or you have two samples in one beat. So let me just cut all this stuff up real quick. And I honestly suggest using Melodyne for this stuff. For sampling. For just getting your samples, stretching your samples, whatnot. Just because uh, Melodyne is better with that than uh, Newtone. Once we have all of our samples in, uh, we obviously paste and make sure there's two in every beat. And paste, paste, paste. Up until 25, where you have a note at 25 specifically. This is C. This is C3 to C7, which is the the best amount. Um, I don't know. This is always the the way to go. Two samples per beat. Uh, let's render this now. Render it in wave again. We find the directory. My samples, yeah. Let it render. Files done. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to open New Tone. Uh, we don't use Melodyne to make the scales because Melodyne. Uh, I'm kind of eh about Melodyne. You can use Melodyne, but. New tone just sounds better in general for the making of the scales. Okay, um, let me drop our scale that we made into it. Let it analyze. Turn this down. All this stuff. And then we control A to select every note. Then we select C3. And we just drag up all of our notes. 
Uh, let me just do that real quick. Okay, now I'm back, and I have all of the notes in here, all up to C7. Like, it's it's a perfect Z, uh, C7, with all the 25, I'm up to 25 here. So, uh, also, export this one as wave. Uh, my samples from that, yeah. Now, um, this is the part where, like, you know, if you know SliceX, you know, you don't really have to do anything, but, uh, I can also show you how to use scales in a good way. Um, so here's our scale. Okay, um, let me switch over to my whole screen. Um, there's another cool trick you can do in SliceX. You know, uh, if you notice, some of these notes are louder than the others, like, like this is obviously louder than that one. What you can do here is click on this wrench tool and click on normalize all regions. That way all of the all of the samples in your chromatic scale are the same volume. Um, you can also increase it by lastly normalizing, normalizing. Usually I just use normalizing because why not? Um And then also if you want to you can delete all this other stuff you don't need it anymore. What about you? Sounds pretty good. Um, what you also can do is if there's clicking. Well, on my phone went off. I mean, look at that. Okay. Um, I'm back from what I was just doing. Um, uh, you can also if your scales sound clicky, you can do. You click in all regions. So they don't sound clicky. They don't sound clicky. Or you can also do this if your samples. Like, let's say there is a lot of attack on your samples, you can turn up these values on start. Depends on what you want. Um, I kind of swing now, but... You know, you can turn it all the way up. I don't know, it depends. And also, what you can also do is turn, uh, click on volume and envelope, and you can kind of have it fade. It just depends on what you want to do. And also, I learned this recently. Um, if you click on feed and click on LFO, uh, you can add a bit of like modulation. Put this to so add two points, um, and then right click the last point and turn on sustain loop end, and then mess around with this. So you see it's like wavy ish. Then I would so the midpoint is zero point five. Uh, I could do five oh two. I guess sounds a little wavy. So like if I turned on. Not wavy. And then the second point is is where the the, the modulation actually starts. Uh, turn off tempo too. There you go. Uh, that's my tutorial on how to use Melodyne. And also how to mess around with Slicex. Freaking goodbye dude.